And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Good morning guys and welcome to today. Today we are all rocking new shirts. Gabby is rocking the sorbet and gray. My dirty gray pants. Yeah. yeah. Tell them what happened to your what happened to your pants. So um I ride in my saddle and my saddle stains my my pants. Because of the oil. Because of the oil when I oil it, so you can tell when I oil it. Yeah, so turn around. So she's trying to always wear the same pants when she rides in it until she's done oiling. But it, all the stains came out, so they look good again. No, only, it only stay, stains these pants. When I ride in other pants, it doesn't stick. Yeah, so weird. And Sophie is it's rocking. Like this material. Navy, Sophie. why are you doing navy? It's not navy, it's blue. So there are all different colors of blue. Dark blue is navy. <laughs> yeah, it's blue. Guys. You did not get and to see. This Just wait. Is um for my new saddle pad that I'm going to Right. Wear. So you think that will work with your teal saddle pad? Yeah. Well, it's actually peacock. Oh, with your teal peacock. Teal light, light blue. All right. If you guys didn't see, but I rode in this saddle pad yesterday, and this is one ride. My girth is so dirty, and this is from the saddle. Yeah, that's what happens when you wear white. Okay. What did you want to say? So this shirt's special. The storm is raining the riding? whole time when we were cantering. Shh. Let your sister have, have mm -hmm. one word in. When you're riding and you get hot, you can just... Yes, that's why she loves this shirt so no, much, right? You tie it in the back. Or okay. you tie it in the front. And then you tie it in the back. And then she has a whole new different shirt with a bow. Yeah, see that's what sisters are for. They tie you up. And we are headed to the barn today. I want to show you my shirt. I'm in love with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's my shirt. Yes, my my shirt. Gong show coordinator. Sam, Sam actually heard somebody call us a gong show the other day. They didn't yeah, know he was. They didn't know he was in the bathroom, and and he heard them, and he's like, they called us a gong show, and I'm like, well, really, we are a gong show. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, there's like a bunch of us. There, we always go in a pack. We're always noisy. It's always like so much chaos, controlled chaos, but it is always chaotic. So I'm like, you know what? If we're gonna be the gong show, we might as well own it. So yeah, I'm owning it. I am the gong show coordinator. I'm gonna get all of the shirts that say gong show participant. Every time I, um, we ride with race car driver, if the girls do something wrong or they don't win at something, he's like, you have to bake me cookies. So Gabby got some cookies and she's gonna bake them today and take them to lessons. Whatever it is, own your setbacks, own who you are, all the good, all the bad, because once you own it and take responsibility for anything that you do, nothing anybody says can ever hurt your feelings because you already own it. You're dad now. You have jeans on and you have a gray shirt. Yeah, I'm dad now. I have a gray shirt and, and jeans. And rubies. And a ruby. She just punched me in the nose. I really Literally really just punched me in the nose. Eyes. Oh, you're such a cute girl. So today we got a letter from Goldie. I think I get pink. She's 12 years old and she has a horse named Dakota and she's been watching us for about a year and a half. She says every morning she looks forward to watching our vid. She's our number one fan. Um, she sour is a jumper fish. and she jumps about three feet. The bunny sour kit. Her horse Dakota is an Appaloosa and he is, his, in, is Goldie's best friend. So she did some amazing drawings. But first she did this jumping picture she sent to us which is beautiful. And the most important thing, Sour Patch Kids. I'm going to eat them because they're fun. <laughs> we love Sour Patch. And also these, whoops, these incredible drawings. Like, that's amazing. That's Gabby. And then that's Sophie with Stella. So amazing. I love them. So what's really special about Goldie's letter is that she sent us a self-addressed stamped envelope that we could mail her a letter. Mm -hmm. So are we gonna mail her a letter? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. 
That field I just showed you is the field that Sophie is going to conquer trail riding on. Our neighbor said that we, our neighbor said that we could um, ride in there, and then once it dries up a little bit, I'm going to be taking Sophie and Finn out there and just letting her go, letting her learn, letting her do it. Anyway, we're here to feed lunch. Hi. Look at Finn's got this quizzical look on his face, like, hmm. Are you here to feed? Are you here to ride me? Are you here to show me off? What's the plan? He's like, well, doesn't look scary. Maybe it's good. You guys hungry? You hungry, sweet girl? I just had a turkey sandwich. The girls have a knack for being here, arriving just after all the work is done. Throwing hay is not my favorite thing. I'm always covered after. Stella, Willa, what's the matter? Oh dear, what's happening here? She was standing there when we came down. Okay, she just pooped. Are you feeling okay, Willow? She's so yesterday. Yesterday she was all upset when the horses left her. You feeling okay? Hello. Don't run her around. She's feeling like upset. Hello. She's gonna roll. Gonna go roll. So hopefully this is. Ah. It's like when you have horses at home, you learn to like notice anything different in them. Wait, Sophia, wait. This is not like her. Grab her head and turn it towards her butt. Why? Why? Then she'll stay down, then we can cuddle her. Oh man! Oh man, be on a trick. She was laying down today too, wasn't she? Okay, let her go outside if she wants to. Wait, she's gonna go again. I don't know, I feel uh, a little alarmed here. Mom. I always just worry. So yesterday she was really upset. It's fine. So did you know that horses that are colicking roll a lot? They either roll a lot and not eat or drink. She's not eating, that's my whole point. Let's go check her stall. Willow just seems off to me. Like this is the first time I've seen her today. Sam let her out this morning and men never notice anything. So all I noticed yeah, she did not kiss Sophie, so there's something Normally wrong. Normally she will always kiss me. So, there's something wrong. So I just watched her poop. So she has been eating and she did poop. I did see her laying down this morning. Now this is where it gets real, you guys. Should we get her pooped? No, I'm gonna watch her. I'm gonna keep a really good eye on her. She just pooped? And I don't know what for sure I'm seeing. All I'm seeing is that she looks a little less willow-like. Like she just seems like a little bit depressed. Maybe it's because of the walk yesterday. Yeah, so we, we took the horses for a walk yesterday and she didn't get to go and she paced and got really sweaty and really worked up. And if you don't cool a horse down and if they drink say, or eat, then they will call it. So. Guys, we are here at the sales barn again, aren't we? Yes. We're just gonna go and check out and see if they got horses, right? Oh Look at these cows. Hey. He's like, no. Hey. <coughs> hey, cows. Oh, uh, oh. A, sh a goat <laughs> just jumped. <laughs> a goat just, now he's running away. And the cow is chasing him. The cow is chasing the goat. There's baby cow. Oh, here comes the goat. Here comes the goat. There goes the cow. 
He's trying to escape. Is he trying to escape? Oh, the cat. Okay, I'm low key freaking out. Whoops, I'm low key freaking out. We are walking. We are on the. We are on the fast track. Oh, I am never wearing this shirt again. If you say it's a gong show, then it turns into a gong show. Right, Willow? Can you guys see her? Willow, there's no, none of that. We're walking, we're not doing any of that, no. I was supposed to go to the barn with the, with the sales barn, but I'm too worried to leave Stella. Apparently, I mean Willow. Apparently, she ate really well this morning, but this is not Willow behavior. Normal Willow behavior. So, look at. I'm gonna try her with. A, see, she looks. You're okay. You're okay. Look, I got some green for you. I just want to look. Doesn't she look not well? You're okay, sweet girl. Here. Look. Do you want some grain? Yeah. You like it? If you eat it, I'll be really happy. So this is what she's doing. She's been smelling the food but not eating. So I messaged with her vet and he said take her for a long walk. See if she has a bit, is she just has like a gas bubble or something. Okay. Well, that was a bus. There's hardly any animals. We got here too late this time. There's no vendors out. It's all empty. Big parking lot. No vendors out. Big waste of time coming here today. Next next week we gotta be here by 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. We don't eat candy. We just had Easter. She got a shot of banamine for pain. It's gonna last her for 12 hours. Instantly, it relaxed her. Basically, the diagnosis is um, gas colic. So basically, they said that she had like a gas pain, a belly ache in her belly. She's not dehydrated. She is not eating at the moment, and she's not allowed to eat for a little while. But um, she. Has been pooping she's been peeing she just peed just now she's not dehydrated she looks really good there's something else about her belly like it's not she's not sucking it in or something um like you do with regular colic anyways yeah so she had gas colic so apparently all the walking we did is going to really help and she got a shot of banamine in her neck and she's doing really well instantly stopped all the pain so we're just gonna watch and wait and she's not to have any food until um, really late tonight she needs to have like some time for the apparently it just is really painful it just causes them a lot of pain and she definitely had a lot of pain she was stretching out like they do when they have colic she was trying to roll all the time but I knew the minute that I looked in her eye that she was off and Sam said that when he fed her this morning everything was fine so I don't know it was stressful though I feel a lot better now that she's been checked um, Nobody is worried about her except for me. <laughs> I, like they're like, yeah, she's fine. So, um, hopefully, just pray though, just just in case we're gonna be checking her. Uh, we're gonna be doing like a nighttime check, and yeah, stressful. I'm glad I sent you away, Sophie, because you were crying, huh? 
now. How is she? Oh, hello. You guys are worried about her? Oh, look. No, they want food because they were not there before when we walked. Oh, well, they had lots of food today. Gas colic. So she's having some gas. I read up on it and it can be caused by stress. And if you guys don't know, she had a lot of stress yesterday because we left her. I'm never leaving her again by herself. <laughs> Ever again. Like, that is never happening again. Like, that's the one thing that I question. Should we leave her? So, aw, that's our girl coming back. No belly ache now, huh? So the symptoms that I noticed today when we came down were that one, she was laying down and she doesn't lay down much. Two, she looked dull. That was the very first thing I noticed, that she looked dull and her eyes looked different. She looked like her eyes look alert and awake and happy now. Yes. She was she just- like we could go in there and lunge around, but we won't do but that. But we would never. Number three, she was just okay. standing. She's looking for food right now. Um, Number three, she was just standing there when I was watching her. She did poop in front of me. Um, number four, I fed the other horses and she did not go running out to get it. And that never happens. Her ear is being fed. Um, number five, she was stretching out her back legs like that. Number six, I noticed that she kept on trying to roll. I noticed that she was trying to, she was looking at her stomach all the time. When she did lay down, she was um, uh, putting her head back. Like you could just tell she was in pain. And so yeah, I noticed every single one of those things the minute I looked at her this morning. Isn't that crazy how you just know when something's off? Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.